today we're going to change a supply valve to a toilet. This valve's gone bad and it won't turn off. It lets the water leak out. And so when the homeowner tried to work on it, it leaked and made some mess. So we're going to first take the supply tube off. Now most of these supply valves are two types. There's either compression or threaded. The compression has a nut that goes over the pipe and a ferrule that goes over the pipe and then when you tighten those up it compresses that ferrule onto the pipe and the valve to create the seal. Unfortunately for us on this one, the old valve is the same brand as the new valve so the nut and the ferrule can stay on the pipe. There were some uh, valves out in the 80s and 90s that used a different thread. And then you have to be able to get the nut and the ferrule totally off. And on copper you can do that. On the pecs like this, if we had to get that totally off, there's no way we'd wind up cutting the wall open to do it. So we've got the nut, we've got the ferrule, the new valve goes on, and we tighten that up. supply <clears throat> so this this nut and ferrule are 3 8 and that's for use with a uh, either a chrome plated copper supply tube or a uh, 3 8 X supply tube and it's a little long so if we just twist that Aims over, and we can get it on without sinking it. And that water is actually coming out of the tank. The homeowner put a new fill valve on it. I'll just retighten that connection. Good and tight, and make sure we re swedge that barrel into the valve. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Um, go ahead and turn the water on, and uh, hopefully, there'll be no leaks.